Hello guys and welcome to this grease pencil, clay pencil and maybe geo nodes guide in Blender 4.3. I posted an animation of this water drop. Let's try to play it. I hope it doesn't slow down the recording because I'm recording using OBS of course. It's a frame per frame animation made with grease pencil and converted to 3D meshes using clay pencil which is a node setup created by the Pepe Land team, led by Daniel Martinez Lara. You can get it from the description. There is a video link there to the tutorial and you can get the link from Gumroad for free or you can give them a donation for the hard work. It is a geometry node setup. It looks simple here, but if you click on one of these nodes and do tab, you can go inside and see all the complexity in the, the hood. It's not even over. If you click on another node here and do tab again, look what we find here. Then click on this tab again. Oh my god. This is like, like atomic science or something. So let's do control tab to go back to our skin level. So what I started doing was of course to draw my animation as grease pencil. Let's do one. And back here, maybe move the camera a little bit. We have this on different layers. Let's check our layers. We have a layer with the drop. Let's hide all the other layers and keep only the drop. So this is the drop that goes like this. And here it splits into two drops and then it does this and goes down. Then we have the faucet which is just a ring like this. And then we can give it thickness so it turns into a pipe. And then we have, so where is the splash? Let's do one. And this is the splash. And of course you can get the file from my Gumroad. It's for free also. And donations of course are welcome. And then we have the rings. A ring that is small and then goes bigger. And while it goes bigger, the thickness of it lowers. I did this using interpolation. So I got a small ring, made it bigger here. Of course, you need to make it bigger and then lower the thickness. So that's the thickness is also interpolated. And lastly, we have a surface that is a big square here. It will be the body of water or the surface of the water. So this is all very simple. The hardest part is animating the drop going down and creating the splash. And you can use, of course, onion scan. Yeah, I should enable a show overlays. Let's go to draw mode. I changed the setting of the onion skin in these colors, red before and green after. And then I made it show two frames before and two frames after. It helps greatly. So back here, let's enable our geometry notes modifier again, or clay pencil modifier. For the notes, I started with this file here. The hard file that comes with clay pencil it's named start here and it has a basic node setup you don't have to touch these or these all you need to do is to duplicate this guy here let's expand it and you can duplicate it you plug this to grease pencil and this you plug it here to join geometry for the settings you can find the settings here for your information we are here under the geometry nodes tab so you plug this one here and this one here and this is explained in the tutorial linked in the description and under each one of course we have all these settings you can have fill or tube and we have settings for the tube settings for the fill and settings for remesh and remesh will merge different meshes together when they are close to each other so let's go back to our file here and you see that my setup is a little bit different because I connected these four nodes together. So what I did, which is explained also in the tutorial, but with only one node and I had to figure out how to connect more than just one node. So we have this node that is connected just like this one from this node, what is it called? Group input to grease pencil and then from here geometry to join geometry. And then for these three other nodes and each of these nodes represents a layer 
one of these layers and it has the layer name here this is important this is this is just a label that will help you find your notes but it's important to put the layers name here so instead of connecting this guy directly to join geometry we connect it to this boolean mesh to this socket here in the rings and then you do the same with each of these and i don't think the order of these layers is important and you should remember also that they are all using the same material which we can find here it's called water so the goal is to make the water merge with other water when they are close we want the surface to merge with the rings to create one mesh that's why it's called remesh and we want the splash also to merge with the surface and we want the drop to merge with the splash when the drop is close or is touching the splash and all of them will connect to the what was called again group input using the grease pencil socket and the last one of these nodes will connect to the join geometry so these four nodes will join each other before connecting here and join in with the faucet then you have to select this last node and enable remesh that can be found here and we have this option here to only show the remesh in render because it slows down the machine very much most of the time keep this checked and disable it only when you want to see how your remesh looks and surely not when you are playing your animation unless you have a very strong setup by default the smoothness i think is 12 here it's 48 that's a lot and the voxel amount was 500 by default let's enable remesh here so that you can see the result of this and this is what it was doing at 500 let's disable it and go forward here and enable it again i mean enable remesh by disabling only in render so here you see this distortion and you see that the drop moved a little bit to the left it's not centered anymore i try to change the smoothing i try to change the voxel size if i increase the smoothing so to six enter you get this the trick is in this value voxel amounts and if you lower it further like 300 we see the problem more clearly you see that it moves more to the left and it gets more distorted and it's not sticking to the pipe let's lower it again to 100 and it's really a mess and what ended up fixing the look of my drop is increasing the voxel amount to 1000 so let's bring it back to 1000 enter and we have this another thing that you need to be aware of is that since all these four nodes are connected we don't need to enable remesh on all of them only enable it on the last of them okay so here keep it off and these settings don't matter anymore because it's off so in all these three remesh is off enable it only in the last one and change your settings as it fits your animation one thing I almost forgot to explain is that we are merging our nodes using the boolean mesh socket here. And boolean means that we can merge two meshes in different ways. You can use a mesh to cut a hole, for example, in another mesh, or you can join them together. And there is a setting for boolean here that is under this boolean operations. And here you should turn it on and you should change one of these modes here and i guess each of these options should give us a different output joint and union i'm not sure what's the difference between these two difference seems to display only the parts that are not intersected and intersect should erase the part that are not intersected and keep only the intersected area and what we need here is to join the geometries let's try to let's do one and find our ring here and now if we change this to difference only the ring is kept if we do intersect i don't know nothing is displayed now and if we do union everything is displayed again and if we do joints also we seem to have the same result and i guess the last point to make let's disable the modifier again and you see that instead of creating one shape like this of the drop 
I created two shapes and it actually was just one shape here. Let's go here and I will try to draw that shape again. So let's go to layers. Let's select our drop layer. Are we in uh, draw mode? Yes. The square is selected. Let's select our let's select our brush and try to draw something. Why is it red? Let's do Ctrl Z. I think it's because of the time offset modifier. So let's disable it too. Let's find this frame and I will draw again my drop. So it's like I made a merge drop. And now if I enable clay pencil again, you see that I have this. So look at the difference. Let's turn in the viewports. Especially if you disable the remeshing. Let's disable it from here. See how this looks. Even without remeshing, this one looks better. From the side, you see that we have this narrowing here. <clears throat> but here, there is no narrowing. Because it's just one shape that was thickened to create this mesh. So this is why it is better to draw two shapes that intersect with each other instead of drawing one shape like this. Let's go to edit mode, select this guy, let's do L to select it all and XD to delete it. Hello again, after recording the video I played a bit more with my notes setup and I thought of another way to connect the notes. So instead of doing the other method, I duplicated the join geometry node put it here, plugged it to the boolean of the rings node and plugged the other three nodes to this join geometry one and plugged them here as usual and yeah I got the same result as before. Again we just enable a remesh here and it works the same and I guess it's a little bit less complicated but it gives us the same result. So this is it guys. Again, if you want this file to study it, it's on my Gumroad for free and donations are very welcome to support the free content on this channel. Also, the tutorial and clay pencil add-on or node setup is in my description. Finally, this organization concluded that the I state is committing a G word and it shouldn't be a controversy. It's about humanity and the sacred human life and silence is complicity at this point. Thanks for watching, see you in another video, and as always, peace.